I came to Britain because my parents had decided that they wanted to emigrate to this country um, as they thought it would provide their children, my brother and myself and my sister, uh, with a good education. It's double happiness when you can actually engage yourself in business about which you are passionate. And I'm certainly passionate about food, I'm certainly passionate about restaurant, and I'm passionate about making a profit. My business philosophy is sustainability. Whatever you start, make sure that it's sustainable, year in and year out, and that it is still going when I'm dead. On my deathbed, I want every single one of my businesses to be still going strong. That's my philosophy. At the end of the day, doing business, both sides got to make profit, and they got to trust each other, and they got to cooperate, and I think it's the same all over the world, whether you are Bolivian, or whether you are African, or whether you are Chinese, or whether you're Egyptian. I think there are many more similarities. And people say, you know, if you're a Chinese, you've got to give your card with two hands. I mean, wow. You know, never heard anything more rubbish. <laughs> Who cares how many fingers you grip your card with? Four uh, or two? Uh, it's a sign of respect. Let me tell you, the respect will only come when the money comes flowing in. It's not the way you present a card. It's a stupid um, uh, idea. In a way, I'm a believer that you have to be at the right time at the right place. I actually think luck, or providence as I call it, plays a very remarkable and important role in people's future. So I actually believe that being lucky is very important. I, I love to be lucky. I would much sooner to be lucky than clever. What appears to me to be the most important and beautiful things in life is human pathos when people behave with great heroism, with great poignancy. The death of soldiers for the sake of war, for one's country. The sacrifice of people for love and loyalty. Those are the most beautiful things in life.